While you were wondering who in their right minds would wear a romper for men, you might have missed skydiving with UAVs, Lowe's passive exosuits, and clowns versus bears. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we promise not to give you the codes to the United Airlines cockpits unless you correctly guess them first. So the combination is one, two, three, four, five. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life! While Amazon's drone delivery program is still contending with the most effective ways to get you your order, Latvian UAV manufacturer Arionis is aiming a bit higher and a bit heavier. The company recently topped its promotional stunt from last year, wherein one of its heavy lift drones towed a snowboarder across a frozen expanse by plucking a man from the top of a 330 meter electrical tower and then releasing him. But don't worry, dude is wearing a parachute. I mean, what sort of operation do you think these guys are running? Arona's drones can carry up to 220 pounds, but don't expect to see them on the ski slopes this winter. The company designs them primarily for firefighting and search and rescue operations. Hauling heavy items around your local home improvement center is getting easier, at least for the people that work there. Lowe's has teamed up with Virginia Tech to develop a passive exosuit that will help its sales associates pick up heavy loads without hurting themselves. The exosuit is worn like a conventional back brace, except that it has a series of carbon fiber rods running down to the upper leg. As the sales associate bends over, the rods flex, storing potential energy that is then released when they stand back up. Obviously, it's no power loader, but the company's early field tests in Christianburg, Virginia have been well received. And finally, here's a surefire way to keep bears out of your trash while simultaneously giving them nightmares. Be sure to check out our Google I.O. live vlog today, everybody.